Welcome to due diligence. Your responsibility as a buyer, what you should do to make sure you protect yourself and invest in the right business. Presented by Just Elementary and Commercial Brokers, I'm Pramod Patel and let's get started. As you go along in your business buying process, you're going to get to a point where you found a business you like, it all seems good and it looks good and you're going to get an offer accepted. Once that happens, your real homework is going to begin. As you have your accepted offer, you're going to then be allowed to go through and verify what you think the business is and look at the tax returns, uh, peruse customer lists, uh, maybe even meet with some key employees. You know, those are all the fine details of due diligence that you definitely need to do, but today we're going to look at the big picture and what you really shouldn't do. So step number one, you really need to get to know why the seller is selling. This is a very important thing because if the seller is selling for the wrong reasons, you maybe end up holding the bag. and You don't want that to happen because you're going to be putting a lot of time, effort, money into this project and you want to make sure it works out for you. So what you want to try to do during this process is to get to know the seller on a casual level, whether it be inviting them to your home, uh, trying to invite them out to dinner, to meet you and your spouse, uh, do what you can to get them outside of the business. As soon as you do that, they're likely going to be uh, much more open, casual, and relaxed. And at this meetings or these meetings outside of the business, you're going to be able to get some insight into what makes them tick, what their lives are like, what they're really looking to do after they sell, and you'll have an idea if they're selling for a good reason or a bad reason. So what are some legitimate reasons for a seller to be selling? If they've actually set themselves up for retirement by having retirement income and a place to retire, then they could be legitimate. If also they're facing a terminal illness, that's an unfortunate reason, but again, that's also a legitimate reason. Now, if they're simply burned out, that could be legitimate, but that's also a red flag that you want to investigate further. You want to find out why are they burned out? Is it because they are running the business poorly? And this leads us to our second point, which is you need to differentiate between problems caused by the seller for the business and problems that the business is facing because of changes in the marketplace and the industry. Now some legitimate reasons that a business could be running poorly is going to be caused by the seller and these things are fixable. So let's say they're a poor manager or a poor people person. You know, If you think you're a good people person you can overcome these things. Let's say there's a lack of working capital you know, if you can bring in sufficient working capital, this again is a problem you can fix and then you can turn around the business and make it more productive and more viable. Now there are some issues that are going to pop up that you cannot fix, such as the business may be located in a small or too small of a space and is stuck in a long-term lease and you can't negotiate out. You might be in a bind there. Also, the business may be located too far from other suppliers, customers, vendors. Again, if you're stuck in a lease that you can't get out of, this is a problem you can't fix and probably a sign that you need to walk away. Now, the third point would be is if the business is facing some sort of obsolescence. Let's say it's a product or service that is being replaced by some other product or service. You may want to think just think again because you might be investing into a future that's going to be declining, declining, declining. And that leads us to our third point of your big picture due diligence and that is you need to really identify marketplace and industry trends. So what are some industry trends that you can look at and analyze to see if you're getting in your, into a business that you can succeed in or one that will drag you down. So, um, number one, you need to know if there's any changes in laws coming up that may affect your industry or your ability to serve your customers or create the products you're going to sell. So, do you know who your local congressional representatives are? 
If not, you really need to get to know them because they can be an invaluable source of what they're working on that may affect your local market or your local area. And if they're not, you know, let's say you're in a particular specialization, an industry specialization, they may know who is and put you in touch with that office. So again, if you know the trends or any changes that are coming with the laws or any government programs, you can have a step ahead advantage of your competitors because they may not be paying attention to that stuff. Also, technology changes. There's the obvious, the internet. Is that affecting the way you reach your customers, the way you market to your customers? Is that also affecting the way you deliver your products to your customers? You know, pay attention to those things. See what their trends are. Um, to find out more about that, there's definitely going to be typically some trade associations in almost every industry. Make a point to join those and try to pick the brains of people on the executive committee. They typically are going to be very active owner-operators of businesses themselves or maybe retired people. And either way, for the most part, they're going to be very willing to give you their knowledge and insight. So these are the big picture items that you need to really consider as obviously you're going through all the other smaller items such as you know, reviewing the tax returns, you know, interviewing employees, you know, the whole nine yards that we'll get into in another video. But again, keep your eye on the big picture because you need to be analyzing the whole thing and analyzing the, the marriage you're making, a business marriage into a business you're going to be buying. So that's it for now. Uh, if you have any questions, obviously you know how to get a hold of us. Uh, the website is www.justelementary.com. Phone number is 323-213-9193. And again, I'm Pramod Patel, and thank you for watching.